today we have a video for you guys of Siri. This is like a super Siri walkthrough with a lot of the stuff that Siri says. We're going to be doing some Siri testing. And because Siri, you're not going to be using it always in a super quiet environment, I have opened my windows so you can hear there's some construction going on outside. I have an assistant here that's going to make a lot of noise. Make some noise. Bop, 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 bop. Come on. Come on, come on. Go get the ball. Oh, okay. So he's going to be making some noise for us to create more of a realistic usage environment. Did you? Yes, okay. So let's just do the first thing we can do with Siri. Oh, okay. And send a message. So we'll send a message to Cameron. Send a message to Cameron Burgess saying, I have to go to the moon later today. So we'll see how Siri handles it, considering there was some background noise in there. These are the phone numbers and email addresses for contacts named Cameron Burgess. Here's your message to Cameron Burgess. What is that? Change it. So we're going to change the message, right? Yeah. Right, right. Okay, here we go. So we're going to just change the message a bit. Hopefully it pulls that back. Just a second. Okay. What would you like the message to say? I have to go to the moon later today. You agree? Yes. I updated your message. So I Ready just... Ready to send it? So it's pretty effective. Okay. I'll send it. Pretty effective. That we can set a timer. Set a timer for five minutes. Right? That's pretty, that's pretty good, Tom. So. To whom shall I send this message? Whoa. Not a timer five minute. No, 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 I no. I need a contact name. Fail. <laughs> so, sorry, failed. Um, let's just say a timer. Set a timer for five minutes. So we can see how this works out here. Your timer is set for five minutes. You think that's a good idea? Think it's a good idea? Ball. Ball. Okay. Um... Timer set for five minutes. We can also ask Suri to put a calendar event for tomorrow. Set a calendar event for tomorrow. Uh, moon launch. Oh, I think go get go get what that. What time is your appointment? Two fifty in the afternoon. Okay, here's your meeting. Note that you already have an appointment about meeting at two p.m. Shall I schedule this anyway? Yes. Okay, Cameron. I scheduled it for tomorrow. So I got moon lawn instead of mood launch, but still working pretty good. We can note something down. Note this. Moon launch equipment needed. Super thrusters. Ball. I don't know what you mean by equipment needed super cluster. Equipment needed, super cluster. Moon launch equipment. Note this. I don't really know what I'm saying, but equipment needed, super cluster, moon mount. So it's working okay. There was some background noise there. We can do some, uh, let's say we want to find out the weather for something. What's the weather for tomorrow in Burlington, Ontario? <laughs> It's not looking too good in Burlington tomorrow. It's not looking too good in Burlington tomorrow, but okay. What else do we want to do here? Uh, we could do... Oh, uh, yes, we'll do this. We could do some... Do a math question. 2000 divided by 10. Sorry about the camera being a bit shaky. I've got I don't know what you mean by 2,000 divided keep, by. Keeps knocking over the camera. 2,000 divided by 10. I found this for you. So it just uh, did the answer there. So that works pretty well. For, and it can do much more complicated questions too. Uh, let's also do this. How many countries are in Southeast Asia? might answer your question. So apparently 11 countries are in Southeast Asia. Uh, what else can we do here? Ba, ba, ba. What's your name? My name is Siri. 
but you knew that already. Siri, who is your... Oh, we'll try, we'll try this again. Who made you? How about a web search for who made? Didn't get me there. Who made you? I, Siri, was designed by Apple in California. So it's working pretty well, Siri. We can also show you some of, some of the dictation stuff, like this. Actually, that's okay. Hi, my name is Bob. I'll be going to the moon tomorrow at 2.50 a.m., so great moon launch. See you then. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Please don't do that. So obviously that's impacting. So, uh, meeting tomorrow at 2.50 a.m., not moon launch. Moon launch. Moon, it keeps getting moon launch. Let's ask, when did man go to the moon? We'll see if we can answer that. Cameron, I don't understand. When did man go to the moon? When did man go to the moon? Okay, how about... Let's see. Also, you can always edit your Siri after, so if it misses out one word, we can just add that in, and hopefully it'll be all good here. Checking my sources. Would you like to search the web for when did man go to the moon? So obviously that's not built into Wolfram Alpha, which is a little bit too bad. But you Searching can, for when did man go to the moon. You can always just jump into the web there. So Siri is pretty good. Um, I'd say that Siri is like... It's going to get better, and it's not perfect right now, but it is going to get better, and it is good right now. Like, it's good enough for some basic stuff. You can, you know, do text messages on it. You can do the quick appointment. If you're, you know, running or if you're on the bike, which I am quite a bit, you can always just um, have your headphones in and be holding down the little button on the headphone and use it, which is a good thing that way. So you can always do that, which is a nice little feature of it. Um, just check if there's any more ones we want to show you guys here. Um... Set my alarm for 7.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. It's set for 7.30 a.m. So that's pretty cool. They can just set alarms like that. What time is it in Hong Kong? So we can see... The time in Hong Kong is 3.13 a.m. So that's pretty cool, too. Anyway, Cam for Titania. I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios, amigos.